Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 16th of October. On the weekly chart, as you know, we're looking for uh, wave one to the upside here, and we're looking for five waves within this particular structure. So we're looking at this as wave four low here and wave five to the upside here. So let's go in and have a look at that on the daily chart here. As you know, we've got uh, from this wave four, we've got one and two, and all the way up to three here and four here. And then we're looking from wave four here, we're looking to wave five of one here, or possibly five of another degree higher at that point. We don't know that yet. So we'll, when we get to here, we're going to see a move down anyway, and we'll just see if how that uh, plays out. But um, first things first, we're just really focused on this particular structure here, as you may know. So one and two and three and four and moving up for, uh, for wave five here. And from wave two to wave three here, we're looking for five waves in this structure. So let's move into the four hour chart to check that. So from this wave four here, we're looking at wave one and two here and wave three in blue here. And between blue two and three, we're looking for five waves of one and two and three and four and five here for this. Uh, and then once that's completed, we'll look for wave four here and then wave five here uh, and so on at that particular point. So let's go in and take a closer look at the run between wave two and wave three here. So um, from blue wave two to blue wave three here, we're looking at five waves. We're looking at this as wave one and two here and wave three here, and then an A and a B and a C here for wave four. Now we need to talk about this a little bit because, uh, well, first of all, wave four hasn't overlapped wave one, so that's, um, that's one positive thing. However, on the flip side of that, if we take this low here to this high here, we were looking at roughly a 38.2% retracement level here, but we've got an extension in the fifth wave here, which we'll take a look at, which brings us down to the 50% retracement level. It's not the end of the world uh, as such, but it does raise a flag. So we do need to look at um, other counts for that. So um, first of all, this counts down nicely as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave with five waves in it. But just, um, just talking about this a little bit, Let's look at more downside here for just for a moment. Let's just imagine that this is wave one here and wave two here, and all of this is wave three here. Then wave four here would pull back to the 38.2% retracement level where that line is here, or the wave four of one lesser degree where it is here. So if it's going to fail, this is where it's going to fail from, and then that would move down from that point there. We'll come back and we'll check this out here, but if we'd viewed this as one and two and three here and back for four here, that would leave us with wave five here. Now, I'm not, I don't know if this is going to happen or not, but it's just a possibility and we just need to have a quick look at it, okay? So that would leave us five waves down and then we would see a three wave counter trend, of course, and then we would see another move down here as such. So just start taking that on board for a moment. And it's not a matter of agreeing with this or not agreeing with it. Um, but if we have wave three over here, and we've got three waves here, so that means that this is corrective. And it's some point in the future, we would take this top out here. Okay, because that's in three waves here. But because it's the first leg in the correction and it's a wave we'll call it a wave a here then that means that we've got a flat correction so um, that means that a three wave structure here a three wave structure here and a five wave structure here for this so i think that it's you know i think it's important that i point this out at, at this stage here um, so we just need to see how this holds up through here and the short trade for all of this, of course, would be the low of wave B here. So this would be one, two, three, four, five down here, and then an A, B, C pattern here. And then we could short this one here at this particular point in time. So it's just something that we need to take on board, okay? Um, 
Yeah. So if we get it, if we get a new low below here, then um, this is this is a possibility of what we're looking at here. The other possibility here, just why we're here as well, is that if we um, if we looked at this as wave one here, as we do, and wave two here, then um, or even wave one here and an A and a B and a C for wave two here, then we could also look at this as wave one here. And then we could come down 60%, 61.8%, which would be about here as well. But the problem with that is that we'd still have five waves down here at that point. Do you know what I mean? So if we got five waves in the opposite direction of the trend here, then we would have five here, we would have a counter trend, and then we would come down further at that point. So that's important to understand. So look, um, if we do make a new low, then we'll look at this situation. But in the meantime, uh, we'll just focus on the upward move here for a moment or two. So we'll pick that back up. I think we're maybe in the hourly chart here. Yep. So, um, yeah, uh, one and two and three and four to here, fading from here and moving down as wave five here, then an ABC correction. And we would go short um, at, that, at that point here for that or we could draw a line through here as well. Uh, so look, just just food for thought, that's all, no no, no biggie. Um, we haven't been stopped out for our long trade here, but look, um, if this is a wave four, um, it's pulled down an extra 10, uh, extra 10% or 8%, so um, we'll see how we go with that. So in one way we're right, one way we were wrong. Um, yeah, look, the safe trade is the 3,500 area through here or even a little bit higher through here. Of course, you may be long already in all of this, so we'll just go into the tick chart and check on this. So this is our structure. All the waves have been accounted for, okay? Just to let you know that, because I know that this is 100 ticks and it's a bit messy from, from the top here. We can look at this as one, two, three, four, five here for an A wave, ABC for the B wave. And uh, where are we here? So yeah, so from B all the way down to C here, we're looking for five waves. So we're looking at one and two here. And I know it's a bit tricky to see here, but I do think it's important to have a quick look at it. So wave one here, back for wave two here, which is really quite high actually. And then one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave, an A and a B and a C here for the fourth wave here. And then down for the fifth wave. And the fifth wave is five waves in here for wave one, back for wave two here five waves in this sequence for wave three, back for wave four here, and then this is where we get our extension in here. So from wave four here, we've got five waves here, wave two here, and we've got one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave here. So that accounts for all the waves here, so that's all nice and tidy. One of the things that also bothers me as well here is that this move up through here can really be counted as an A wave because it's got five in here and then it's got one, two, three, four, five here. So it's not really showing me, it's showing me, sorry, it's showing me three waves here rather than five waves here. So that's a little bit alarming in that regard. I can see that we've got five here and a correction here and um, we'll just use these here and we'll just move that. It's one, two, three, four, five to here. Uh, an A and a B and a C for here, and one, two, three, four, five for here. So really, we shouldn't really breach this low here at 72. So we're in group two here now, 65, 72, and 80. But we also know too that the wave, the 38.2% retracement level is coming in around this area here somewhere. So if the market can push up into closer to the 35 here, then we'll probably probably be on the right track at that point. Uh, like I mentioned, the safe trade is sitting on 35. I know that's a, a fair way away. Um, you may be long already in this um, as such, but this is the weak spot here for this. It appears to me this is in three waves here. So that we need to put a flag on in, in there uh, as such, but then we'd still need five waves up as one and two and three, which is not finished, four and five. So it, it appears that we need to go higher with all of this um,
I'll just give it a bit of time there then because it's got that trend line there it should push up so it should push up further i th i feel that we're on the right track but this this is a, a little alarm bell over here we'll just have a quick look at the nazi and then we'll do a bit of a recap on that so with the nazi here uh we've got wave four here as well so re realistically we could have if i copy that text we could have that as the b wave here as well Probably not, but um, when we're talking about wave fours, they do get complicated, and um, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to have an easy one, but uh, <laughs> life's not like that. Um, so, uh, this is also pulled back uh, a long way as well. So if I just um, take this low here and that high here, See, that's pulled back to the 61.8% retracement level there. So here's a case here where um, we could view this here as, well, wave one and two here, but also one and two here as well for this. So putting wave one here and wave two here for this. I don't think it's the case, but, um, and I have seen wave fours pull back that far as well. And we are in volatile times, so we would need to take a, you know, we need to uh, accommodate a few other things, you know. So, but one would think that that would be the right move as one and two and one and two here. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but we'll leave, we'll leave the B wave there, probably not the case, um, and, and leave this here. Wave four hasn't overlapped wave one, so it's okay as well in its own sense. It also has a nice um, move down through here as well. This also off the low here is not really treating right as well. It looks a little bit corrective, if I just point out in here. So it's a bit more obvious here in this case. You see this move here is in three waves here. So that's telling me that that's corrective. And that's also telling me that um, the rest of this would be corrective as well. We would have another move down from this point. So I'm a bit concerned about that, unless we've got some sort of truncated fifth wave in this five wave structure in this space here for this um, and hasn't taken this low out here. But I've accounted for one and two and one, two, three, four, five here for the third wave, fourth wave and one and two and three and four and five here. So everything's accounted for. So there's a, <clears throat> there's a couple of problems, you know, with all of this. So if just from just for a moment, if if we think of uh, if we looked at this as wave one here, so wave one here, wave two here, and all of this is wave three here, then this can come back to this area through here. So this is another little area that we need to be concerned about. So this thirty eight point two percent retracement level here. Um, just above the eleven nine, that's that's an issue here. So I'll just put that there on, on the 11.9 and we'll just highlight that as a, <coughs> as a problem there. If that becomes the tested support, then I think, then I think we're okay. But uh, yeah, I just need to point that out there. So we'll just, um, We'll just put it in that color there just so um just so we can remember and what we know and so on so yeah look uh because of that and the s p's got the same as well but not as obvious as this so we'll need to watch the nazi at this particular point uh for, for this okay um yeah that's all really for that so we're not out of the woods yet for all of all of this Okay, so um, let's just go back to the hourly chart here for a moment. So this is the 38.2% retracement level here for this. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. So what we need here is we need the 3480 as a tested support. 
So if I can come back to here, 3480, which is it's approaching now, and that's the wave four of one lesser degree here as well. You can see here, you can see here that this and this and this, the 80, and we always call eight a profit-taking number as well. So this is where it's going to spend some time. It's going to spend some time here close to the close as well. Um, so, yeah, the more that that can become the support, the safer the trend to the upside is going to be. Okay, well, that's it really. <clears throat> um, yeah, a little bit unfortunate. It would have been nice if the market had just done the A, the B and the C down to the 470, the 38.2% retracement level, and then made support on the 35 where we we're going to go along from and then move along. But <clears throat> it dropped much lower than this point, And um, it's, it is what it is, unfortunately. And we just ne need to now take precautions. So um, the precaution is, is that being on the 35 here as the support is the is the go here otherwise we could very likely see a wave move down through here for this Alrighty, uh i'll leave it at that i've waffled on long enough and uh yeah thanks for tuning in cheers